Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export Google's WebP format uh, directly from Figma. So we're going to be taking these images here and exporting them, uh, instead of exporting them to JPEG and PNG, we're going to export them to the WebP format, uh, which Figma doesn't natively support, uh, but we're going to use a plugin to help us out with that. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the main menu and click on the Figma icon uh, in the top left here. And you want to go to the search or community, uh, either one, and in the search bar, uh, we just want to type in the word tiny image. So that's just one word. And when you do that and go to the plugins tab, you'll see this plugin called tiny image compressor pop right up. And because I've already got it installed, uh, my button on the right here looks like this, and it's got this little check mark with uh, installed on it. But yours might just say install if you haven't already uh, installed it. So if you click on install, it'll install it straight away, and you'll see it change to say installed like mine does. Uh, once you've installed it, uh, you can jump back to your project uh, in Figma. So jump back in there. And then to run the plugin that we've just installed, you can just right click anywhere and go down to plugins and then go down to tiny image compressor. And that will run the plugin that we've just installed. Okay, so uh, the first thing to know is that um, tiny image bases the images that it exports uh, from the native Figma export settings on any of your frames or any of your layers. Uh, and what I mean by that is if we click on, uh, let's just click on this, this uh, Marcha photo here, and you'll see in the right-hand side, we've got this, this little section called export. And at the moment, I've got two export settings. I've got uh, two different JPEG exports. Uh, if I remove those, and then click on the refresh icon in tiny image. You can see that it'll warn us saying that we don't have any export settings on this layer. Uh, so if you're running the plugin and you're not seeing any images pop up, uh, it's because you need to apply export settings from this little sidebar in Figma. And that way tiny image will understand what kind of exports you wanna be making for all of these different images. Um, so to do that, you just click on an image layer, go to the export tab uh, over here in the column, right hand column, click on that. And then uh, it's really up to you to set the format. So by default it's PNG. Uh, I want to use JPEG because these are more photo based. There's no transparency. There's really no need for me to use, <clears throat> pardon me. There's really no need for me to use uh, PNG for these ones. On the other hand, these little icons here uh, do contain transparency. Uh, so I do want to export those as PNGs. Uh, at the moment, they're set to SVG. So what I can do is I can just go down here to my export setting, click on where it says SVG and change that to PNG in my case. Uh, and I can do that to multiple images at the same time just by holding down shift and clicking on more than one and then changing that down here uh, to add to PNG. So now if I refresh, you can see there it's changed to PNG. Um, so that's just a brief intro to how these little uh, images pop up in the tiny image plugin. They're directly correlated to the export settings that you put into the Figma um, column. Okay, so now that we've got those uh, set up, we've got JPEGs and we've got PNG set up, uh, if we do this normally, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to uh, it's going to export them just as those formats. It's going to export PNGs and it's going to export JPEGs. Uh, so just to show you what that looks like, I will uh, click on the compress button up here, and Tiny Image is going to run through all the selected images that we just uh, told it to compress and it's going to compress all of them to JPEG and PNG, depending on which layer had which setting uh, attributed. So if we click on the zip file, double click on that, 
and then open it up. You can see that it's exported exactly what we've asked for. It's given us uh, PNGs and it's given us JPEGs. And because we've got the quality, you know, moderately aggressively set to 50, uh, we've saved 93%. So uh, in my case, that's too low of a quality. I want higher quality images, um, but I also want really small file sizes. Uh, so if we just keep in mind what the total output is at the moment, so we've got 7.6 meg uh, for these images at quality 50. Um, but but to, to get better quality savings, um, sorry, better file size savings, but also better quality at the same time, what we can do is export these images to a totally different format called WebP. So I'm just going to uh, click out of the plugin and rerun it. I can rerun the plugin from the sidebar now that I've run it once. So if you go over to the right-hand side and click on the tiny image icon, uh, that'll fire up the plugin again without you needing to right-click anything. Okay, so to enable WebP, uh, Figma does not support WebP format natively. So what we need to do is enable it uh, via the tiny image plugin. To do that, we can click on the little settings icon up in the, the plugin toolbar up here. So this little settings icon, uh, when you click on that, you'll notice this option here that says convert all JPEG and PNG images to WebP. Uh, by default, that is turned off, but in our case, because we want the WebP format, uh, Google's WebP format, uh, to be exported from Figma, we can click on this little toggle and that will enable it. And if we just click out of the settings again, um, you can see here that it's actually flagged uh, a little update in our list that says in brackets WebP. So WebP is in brackets next to, we can still see the original format. So, you know, we've got um, PNG exports here, but in brackets, uh, it's telling us that the WebP setting has been enabled in our settings here. So that's why, why that looks like that. If we turn that off, uh, you can see that that removes it, but when it's on, uh, it's telling us that uh, the export setting is for PNG, but that's going to get converted into WebP. Okay, uh, so to see what that looks like, we can, um, for example, bump up this, this quality slider. So let's make it like 75. Uh, and we're just going to leave all the checked images to the ones that we just did a moment ago, uh, just so we can kind of compare the outputs a little bit. So now we've got all these selected to be exported as WebP uh, from Figma instead of JPEG and PNG. And we've got our quality selected to 75. We could override these, but for now, let's just make them all 75. And then we just simply click on compress once again with our WebP setting checked. And this time it's not going to give us uh, JPEG and PNGs. It's gonna give us WebP. Okay, so now I'm gonna save this uh, zip file. And you can see here that even though we increased, um, even though we increased the quality to 75, from 50 to 75, uh, the savings are still in, in a really high range. So we've just saved 90%, 7.43 megabytes in total have been saved from the exact same uh, image set. So if we go to our desktop uh, where the images were saved and then open that up. Okay, so we can see here uh, that if I just open up that in a new tab and compare that. Okay, so we've got our new export here, uh, which are all the, the WebP files. So you can see here it's got Google's WebP as the format. Compared to the export that we just did a moment ago, uh, which just exported the original PNG and JPEGs. And if we compare the sizes, uh, even though we've increased the quality to 75 from 50, uh, the image sizes are still like quite good. Um, even though we've bumped up that quality. 
So if we just open those up uh, here, you can see that we've got, uh, you know, these reasonably good looking images, but the file sizes are still really, really low. And that's kind of the whole idea behind Google's WebP format. It's a, it's a brand new, well, it's not super new, but it's still relatively new. There's not a lot of people um, using it yet. Uh, but I know that a lot of, especially if you're a website that gets just tons of traffic and, you know, you want to really save on the amount of data that people are, are consuming and the amount of uh, traffic that's going through your, through your server, uh, through your network, but still have really good quality images, uh, WebP is just a really good alternative to the original um, PNG and JPEG. And the thing you'll notice as well is that tiny image supports uh, transparency. So we've got these little icons here uh, that have transparency. So you don't have to worry about, you know, whether you, you can't do it because, you know, you need a PNG or an SVG because you have transparency. Uh, this, this exports transparency just fine. So as long as you've set the, um, as long as you've set the original format for those images as, uh, as PNG. So for example, we've got this one set to PNG because it has transparency. Um, as long as you've got that selected as PNG, the transparency is going to get picked up in the WebP compression and the WebP file is going to automatically get that transparency. Uh, that won't happen for JPEG. Um, JPEGs will, will never have that transparency, but JPEG is perfect for photos um, just like this. Uh, so that's, that's roughly uh, how you export WebP files directly from Figma. As I said, it's not supported. Um, WebP from Figma is not supported natively, but by using the tiny image plugin uh, and enabling this option that we enabled before uh, to convert all PNG and PNG images to WebP uh, uh, from the Figma exports, that will enable you to do it even though it's not natively supported. Uh, and to turn that off, you just simply click on the toggle so yeah, I hope that that's been uh, interesting for anyone who's trying to figure out how to get this WebP format uh, out of Figma uh, directly without having to export JPEG files and PNG files first and then find an online converter or find some command line tool to kind of do this for you every time. Uh, if you do need to export uh, a bunch of WebP files directly from your Figma project, then uh, at the moment, tiny image is the, the only way to do it. Um, but as you can see, it, it does it really quickly. It does it really efficiently. And uh, you don't need to worry about any other um, command lines or, or terminals or um, uh, scripts that uh, need to be run after exporting other files from Figma. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you have some success with it. Um, as always, thank you for watching the tutorial and I hope you've learned something from it. And yeah, thank you again for watching.